Here we have for sale our 2016 on a 16 plate Ford Transit Custom. This is the L1 H1, which means it's short wheelbase and the low roof. It's the 2.2 TDCI 125 brake horsepower Trend van. What we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around, have a look at the spec that you get on a Trend and also the condition of this particular vehicle that is for sale. So the first thing you'll notice is the colour. So this is Deep Impact Blue. In my opinion, arguably the best colour that you could get a custom in. You can't actually get them in this colour anymore. They discontinued the colour, which to me was a mistake because I think it was very, very popular and I think it sets the Transit Custom off very nicely. Of course, Ford did do this colour across a range of vans, but most commonly known in the custom. So, starting at the front of the vehicle, so you can see on a trend, we do get the nicer upgraded headlights. You also get the colour-coded front bumper. You get front fog lights, and you also get front parking sensors. You also get rear parking sensors as well, which is obviously very nice to have. You get the trend wheel trims. If we go in the cab, we can have a look at the spec and condition in here as well. So starting on the driver's door, you get electric windows, you get electric folding mirrors, as you can see there. So they just fold in like so, that's how they operate. You've also got auto activated lights and wipers. You can see with this vehicle, we have got two keys and that is a locks for van key there for the slam locks, which we'll show you on the rear doors and the side loading door a little bit later on got a nice adjustability here on the driver's seat so this is height adjustability this controls the height of the front of the seat so that going up and down there uh, you've got uh, adjustability for the backrest nice driver's armrest which is on a ratchet so you can set that to your desired height you've also then got a fold down work tray which has got some cup holders and somewhere to store your paperwork nice on the custom as well if you pull up at the front you can actually then flip these seats forward like so you can do exactly the same with the other one there as well. So it gives you a bit of extra storage space uh, behind there. If we look at the steering wheel, got a nice leather multifunctioning steering wheel. So you've got two controls here for the onboard computers. This one controls the screen which is up there, which you can see at the moment has got the parking sensor display. And this one controls uh, the one in the middle uh, of the speedometer here, which is uh, currently showing you can see it's got 60,052 miles. The vehicle is running at the moment so it's all idling correctly there's no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard. Down to the left we've got the cruise control settings and on the right this is where you can control the radio so you've got the volume controls here and you can also uh, hang up or answer the phone there as well. In the 125 brake horsepower engine it does compare with a six-speed manual gearbox. Very, very nice. Plenty of power in the 125. Um, and uh, as I say, with a six-speed as well, makes it great for motorway mileage and, of course, the cruise control. Heated windscreen just up there. We have got, if you um, pull on this little tab just there, opens up this storage compartment where you've got the USB port, AUX port, and a 12-volt socket. You can, as I say, you can connect your phone to this via uh, Bluetooth. And of course, that's where you control your radio just there. So plenty of spec inside the cab of a customer. Say on the trend model, it's really everything that you would want. Uh, very, very good for a works van. If we turn the van off now, because we will need the key to get into the rear of the vehicle with the slam locks. But as I mentioned, the color, I think, really does set the vehicle off very, very nicely. This van has been locally owned from new. It is one owner from new and it will be going right through our workshop before it leaves us as well. So uh, we're going to be fully servicing it and going right through it. Um, as a little thing like that, little cap just missing there. Of course, that will be replaced as well before it leaves us. We go through everything like tyres, brakes, everything when we uh, service these vehicles. And if there's any less than a six month MOT, we put a new MOT on as well. So come into the slam lock. So you'll see they've got these slam locks here uh, on the side loading door and you'll find one when we go around to the back on the rear doors as well so to open the door you've got to put the key in and turn it like so and then that will allow you to open up the side loading door why they call them a slam lock is when you shut the door when you've slammed the door 
it's locked. So you don't need to do anything else on the key. As soon as you shut that door, it is locked, which is a great deterrent because any thieves will look at this and know that they're very difficult to break into. Um, but also, even if you forget to actually lock it on the remote, they will not be able to get into the rear of the vehicle. So if we open up this side loading door, you can see here we've got the brand new ply lining. This has just been ply lined which is all very, very nice. You can see it's got the optional extra here of the LED load lights, which wouldn't be standard. We've also got the factory fitted bulkhead with the load through hatch. So you can, you know, this is a short wheelbase version, but you can load all the way through there underneath the passenger seat. Perfect for those three meter lengths. Nice hardware in plastic floor. And if we come round to the rear, so it gives you a chance to look at the rear barn doors. As I mentioned, you have got the rear parking sensors there as well. And that's where you've got the other slam lock. So if you put the key into the lock there, turn it, and you'll see that the door just pops open like so. So you can see with the inside of the barn door with this yellow arm, once that is put back into position there, that allows you to open the rear barn doors up to their full 180 degree position. Or alternatively, you can open it up and that yellow arm will lock it into place there at 90 degrees. But this gives you another aspect now. You can see the load area. You can see, let's say, the condition here of the rear doors or the brand new ply lining. And I'd say it does really set it off very, very nicely. If you'd like to inquire on this van, please feel free to give us a call on either of the numbers listed at the bottom of the sign. We can arrange finance at very competitive rates, starting as low as 7.9% APR, of course, subject to acceptance. And we can also take cars or vans in part exchange as well. Thank you very much for watching.